hello men and hello husband. I've said something very similar to this particular thing I'm about to say before, but I want to re-echo it by presenting it in this dimension. When it comes to providing financially for the need of the family, you are actually the primary agent as the man. When I say the primary agent, you are called by God as the main person in the institution called marriage and you are a key person. You know it is at a point when God produced you, he, he made you and he analyzed you and discovered that there is a missing point. It was at that point that he created the woman and he ordained the woman to be a help to meet your needs for you. Help meets for you. Help. She's actually a helper. Now, before you can talk about introducing a helper in any situation, it means there is a main actor doing the main thing. Then when the actor cannot meet up with everything, a help can be provided for him to support him provide those things. Now, financially, in the home, there are some men that expect their wives to originally, you know, provide certain things. It's as if consciously or unconsciously, they have carved out certain financial responsibility and they have you know partitioned it and given their, their, their a portion to their wife while they handle some portion it is an unconscious thing they have done and now what they do that is worse which is causing problem in so many marriages is that they after doing their own the parts they see that oh this is what i should carry out financially and they begin to do those things and once they are done doing those things other parts that they have unconsciously or consciously partitioned for their wives to provide, they neglect it and they don't want to do anything about it. It is wrong. As a husband, if it is that, if that is what you do as a husband, it's totally wrong. To be quite honest with you, you are ordained as the man to make provision for every need of your family, including the need of your wife. Now, if your wife is working as you are also working, and it's possible she even has upper hand financially, probably her, her monthly uh, income is higher than yours. Fine, there's nothing wrong there. But don't say because of that, she should have that responsibility that you have given to her. It was not God that gave her that responsibility. After you have contributed your own part, you've made things available and you can't meet up, she cannot support you. Okay? So put it at the back of your mind that she's just to support you. It is not her responsibility. Some of you, you neglect the payment for the fees of your kids. Your own children, you don't pay, you believe your wife should be able to pay for it. Or if you pay the fee, there are some other bills, you don't even think about it. And this woman, you, you just expect her to do it. See, if you want her to do it, call her as the man in charge and talk to her, the sweetheart, I need your help to help me pay the bills. I need your help in this particular month to help me do this. That is how it should be in a good relationship as ordained by God. Ask for that support. There are some women, they go ahead to do it. They go extra miles. They even go more than their husband without asking. If you are, you are blessed with such a woman, don't take her for granted. Anytime she does those things, come on, call her and appreciate her. Give her a kiss. Say, sweetheart, thank you so much. You didn't even bother to ask me and you have made provision for this weekend. Okay, it takes a, a good woman to do that. So, no, man, don't neglect your responsibility to your family. The Bible says, if you do so, you are worse than an infidel. I pray God will give you wisdom. And, and beyond wisdom, I pray you shall be blessed financially also in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me quickly tell women this. Wives, listen to me. Find you are a help meet for your husband. Don't also neglect your role, your divinely given role as a help that is meet for him. At times you know he doesn't even want to ask because probably because of ego. He doesn't want to ask, but you know he needs it. Go ahead and do it. This is your husband. This is not just one of the men out there. This is your husband. And you have made the vow to spend the rest of your life together. I know at times he, he may act like an ingrate, but because peace has to keep moving in the family, please try your best. And I pray God will give you wisdom. When you can do it, go ahead and do it. And once you can't meet up, okay, don't let it cause a fight. If you think that he's any so much that he should be able to handle some things and he's not handling it, it shouldn't cause a fight. 
talk about it. In marriages, learn to talk. In marriages, always talk. Communication is vital. I pray God will keep giving you wisdom and it shall be well with you. God bless you.